Page Q Jones. Your DVD and Blu ray baller out of budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit that bell notification. Uh, usually drop a video every Wednesday, 4 20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check that out. If you're a current subscriber, definitely appreciate you. Welcome. Come on in. You know the routine. You see Shira and I here just kind of chilling out while I watch movies. She kind of does what she does. That's what she do. And this week, have some bangers again. Have an rare hard to find out of print Kino Lorber, pawn shop pickups, beautiful BBC 3D Blu-ray set, as well as my eBay Amazon classic pickups. But before I get into what I picked up at the pawn shop, eBay and Amazon, not only do I collect movies, yes, I'm one of those rare individuals, I actually watch them too. And on a weekly basis, I'd like to share with you some of the things I've watched, either streaming or physical media. This week, it's more on the streaming side. I'm gonna kick it off with a little apropos because I have Shira here. It's Netflix, Inside the Mind of a Cat. Very short documentary, it's about an hour and some change. But I'm not gonna say it introduced anything I already didn't know because I've had cats probably over the past 30 years. I think I'm not, it's my third set of cats I've had. But it just went over the, well, it had some interesting facts I didn't know about the whiskers and all that. But basically the overall theme is cats are very misunderstood creatures and they're a lot more trainable and a lot more mysterious than people actually realize. It goes through brief history of the cats, their anatomy, and the personalities of some of these studies that have gone on with cats <clears throat> over the past few years, how they've been not studied as much as other animals, such as domesticated animals, such as dogs. So really cool document documentary, especially if you love cats. Check it out, Netflix, Inside the Mind of a Cat. The next one is also a Netflix documentary. I believe they have a new series called Untold kind of like ESPN's 30 for 30 gives special stories or sports related stories this one I just happened to see it's the untold story of the rise and fall of and one if you're not familiar with and one and one I guess they still exist now but in the beginning it was early 2000 this was a clothing co clothing company started out with t-shirts and actually moved into full athletic apparel, tennis shoes, but it goes into the founders, three Ivy League grad students, Ivy League college students, who basically created a company around basketball culture, specifically urban street talking basketball culture. <clears throat> I'd say I think they did a very good job of, of being objective. They showed all the views from the owners to the players to the fans and their big competition Nike of course and very interesting why I didn't know what actually caused the downfall looking back it was like okay that makes sense and halfway watching I'm just like it seems a real lot bunch of guys just culturally appropriating uh, a culture that's not theirs and profiting off of it but what's really cool though they gave the objectives from the player some of them weren't too happy on some of the decisions that were made and how they're treated others were quite happy with their experience it gave these young men opportunities to see the world play in arenas they probably would never have played in because of either legal issues or just didn't have the size like the professor to actually be in the profession in the in the MBA. So very good documentary. Uh, they have some other ones that look interesting though, but the and one when it really kind of piqued my interest. So get the opportunity to check Netflix, the untold story, the rise and fall of and one. My next pick is uh, up to this day I'm still not sure if I've actually seen this or not. It's a 2007 uh, Nicholas Cage movie. Next. I had this forever, probably since 2007. Like, I've seen this, I've seen this. I'm watching this, like, 
I don't know if I've ever seen this. It's uh, Nicholas Cage, Julianne Moore, and uh, Jessica Biel. And I don't like to get spoilers away, but Nicholas Cage has this specific talent that allows him to stay ahead of his competition or his enemies just a little bit ahead of them. Menace just kind of give a, a wink and a nod to the movie. Um, very interesting movie, very good movie. He and Jessica Biel uh, don't necessarily have the best chemistry, though, but fun movie to watch. Uh, I don't know if I, it's been so long that I, I totally forgot the plot, though. I don't think I've ever seen it before. I think that was my first time watching it with the wife. Get the opportunity, 2007, Nicolas Cage, next. And my last movie, actually, my son and wife actually saw it in the theaters. I still haven't been back to the theater since 2019, still not risking it. But they already saw it in the theater, so as soon as I saw it streaming, I had to, had to check it out. It is director Jordan Peele's Nope 2022. If you don't know who Jordan Peele is, if you've been sleeping under a mat for the past 10 years, he is the director of Us, the movie Get Out, the new version of Candyman. He also did the reboot of Twilight Zone. You might know him from his earlier sketch comedy with uh, Keegan Key, the Key and Peele show. But director, he is just really blowing it off the map. Net Nope is a sci-fi adventure suspense thriller starring Daniel Kalua. You might know him from Get Out, um, The Black Messiah, Kiki Palmer. You probably know her from Secrets of Secrets of Bees. I think that was way back one of our first things. And Stephen Ewan from The Walking Dead. I don't give too much away though. Stephen Ewan has a very interesting part. It's very interesting how they crafted his part around this movie. Um, I'm not gonna say this is my, my favorite Jordan Peele movie. Probably Us or Get Out, probably up there. But great science sci-fi movie. Uh, I often wonder. Again, I don't want to give too much away. Some of his his side thoughts, side thoughts in making the movies. Uh, and if you watch the movie, you might understand with the whole backdrop of uh, Stephen Yeun's character and his his uh, history as a child actor. So, very interesting movie. Can't wait to see it. They're actually talking about possibly having a sequel, so I hope they have a sequel to that. I'll let's see how they continue this on. Get the opportunity. Can't wait for this to drop physical, uh, physical copy. Nope. 2022. Jordan Peele. Now, without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. Maybe you say and chill like Sherry is. my old reliable spot cash america in brandon florida as you usually can find something in here last couple times a little dry but we'll see need my mask
We are back at the Black Cave. Back at the Black Cave. We are back at the motherfucking Black Cave. I have some banger pickups I picked up at Cash America Pawn Shop. I have my 3D pick for the week. I have my classic out of print rare Kino Lorber pickup for the week. So let me get these scanned in and we'll go over these in just a minute. I'm going to kick it off with what I picked up from the pawn shop going to start with the king of B-movie, B-movie action star king, Scott Atkins. He actually was a, a pretty decent martial artist, but for some reason, he just never made it to the A status. I heard because he's some of an asshole, but again, that's just from what I've heard. <clears throat> but his movies are entertaining, I must admit. This is an X, X Raider distribution. Scott Atkins close range, not to be confused with I think the one with Sean Penn, I think. Next we have a Disney. I have this on DVD, so upgrading to the Blu-ray. Excellent movie based on the true story of the United States hockey team when they actually beat Russia. Not to give a spoiler though, but Miracle, Disney, and all these are two bucks, so great deal. These the DVD and the Blu-ray Miracle. Next, we have an Anchor Bay out of print. We have Doctor Strange himself before he's Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch, Kira Knightley, The Imitation of Life, best film of the year. I haven't seen this. It was uh, was it a Code Breaker or something? I've seen trailers of this but I haven't seen this like that guy too he reminds me of Stanley Tucci for some reason 
without the hair. Imitation of life. We'll see if this works. Anchor Bay release. Next, we have Anthony Hopkins and Colin Farrell and Solace, which I haven't seen. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I've heard of this before. Nice slip cover. It's a Lionsgate release. Nice raised printing on the slip cover. And it looks like a cop thriller drama. Oh, that's a boy from Walking Dead. Interesting. She looks familiar too. Jeffrey Dean, Anthony Hopkins, Colin Farrell. Huh, interesting. Let me check this out. Solace, and we'll see if this works also. The code. YSD release with a nice slip cover. Next we have, I have a bootleg of this. Somehow, I don't know how these bootleg copies get into my collection, but I can upgrade this to the original Blu-ray and DVD of Michael Mann. Directed movie, Black Hat. And I think this is like a, kind of a spy suspense thriller. In the same vein of Heat and Collateral. And I've never seen The Insider, but I have that. You have Thor himself, Black Hat. <clears throat> Also, raised printing on the cover, on the slip cover, very nice. This is a universal release. This is an, an, a universal release. We have the DVD and the generic universal Blu ray disc, black hat. And last from the pawn shop, again, for two bucks. I already have this. Normally I don't double dip for two bucks plus. It's a beautiful, very beautiful steel case. Super bad with McLovin, Seth Rogen. And this is the unrated ex extended edition, but I think they're all the unrated extended edition, I believe, because I believe the copy I have is that, but very nice slip cover. So this is what I picked up from the pawn shop. Here, um, and that's what I paid right there. So basically, thirteen bucks for one, two, three, four, five, six Blu-rays. One of those being a steel steel case, so not a bad deal. If you hear some clinking around, that's my wife putting up the shelves from our closet. The, the shelves collapse, so that's a whole different story. And let's get. Let's get into what I picked up from eBay, auction, 3D, 3D pick, and my classic pick. Hold on. We have one of the first action non-superhero stars in media television back from the 70s, the Bionic Woman, Lindsay, Lindsay Wagner. This was the answer to Steve Austin, the $6 million man. I, I think... Probably a week after I purchased it, I think, I think for like 17 bucks for this. The Blu-ray edition came out, but the Blu-ray, they want like 100 and some bucks. So, you know me, that'll be a minute before I get this. Still in the plastic. Let me get this out the plastic so we can go over these season by season. Hold on. We have season one. And if you're of a, from a younger generation, you're probably not used to television series having more than 10 episodes. This was back in the day when television series used to have over 20, 30 episodes per season. I think the last show to ever do that probably is Supernatural, to my knowledge, at least what I watch. Get that flash of the glare. Season one, Bionic Woman. Season two. And this is a universal release, as you can see. Season three, the final season, Bionic Woman.
and probably eventually I'll get the Blu-ray season. If I can find it for the right price, 100 and some bucks is not the right price for me right now. So, but it just came out. So, of course, it's going to be a little high. And, of course, you have the box. Nice, somewhat sturdy box. You have the Bionic Woman, the complete series. My 3D pick for the week. This is actually a box set. BBC, I love BBC. Nature stuff, especially if it's in. 3D. So we have Planet Dinosaur 3D. I just took a peek at, a peek at them though. They look fantastic. Again, the BBC. Uh, probably put them up there with IMAX as far as their nature videos and stuff like that. We have Wings 3D, narrated by David Tennant. And we have Tiny Giants. Chipmunks. All in 3D. And a very nice box to go with it. So my 3D pick for the week. And for my classic pick for the week, this is a classic hard to find Kino Lorber. I think I got this last year sometime at an eBay auction. Been stalking this for a while. Still have it in this little, let me get this out of a this little protective case one moment. This is one of the, I don't know how to put it, originators of cool maybe, of soul, funk. You have the one and only, the late great Isaac Hayes with the late great Yafi Koto. Haven't seen this truck turner. Um, it's in the 70s exploitation period. So I don't know really, really what, this, what this is really about. Uh, it's just in that period, but lo love the two actors. Yafi and uh, Isaac Hayes. Just like Isaac Hayes, if you don't know, he was a soul musician. He's a... Uh, I put him on the level of Barry White, just that kind of cool, mellow, smooth voice type of dude, Isaac Hayes. So, Kino Lorber, hard to find, rare out of print, truck turner. And this is my weekly pickup, my pawn shop picks. You know what time it is, let me put these where they belong so I can make space and get you good people on your way. Hold on. I have everything scanned into my CLZ Movies app. Season Charlie, LZ Lima, Season Zebra. The only thing they didn't scan in is this because there is no 
barcode, so I have to put that in manually. So let's finish this up now. I have everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, looking at movies, talking at movies. If you made this far in the video, smash the like, give me the big thumbs up, subscribe, please share. Almost there to my goal is a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this, help a brother out, help me out. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone take care. Deuces.